What is up, everyone? Hope you're having a fantastic day so far today. As you may or may not know, I was recently hacked. It was an absolutely awful experience, and I don't want that to happen to anybody else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take everything that I've learned from this experience and compile it into a whole bunch of tips to make sure that you don't get hacked either. If you follow these, your account should be as safe as absolutely possible. All right, so my first tip is going to be involving the email registered to your account. Number one, you need to have an email registered to your account in case anything happens to it in terms of password changes. Number two, that email must be separate, used only for RuneScape, nothing else. Don't make it some sort of guessable email that's really close to your other emails, maybe with a couple numbers or letters changed in it. Make sure it is a completely random bullshit email with a completely random bullshit password. Again, these things cannot be similar to anything else that you have. And this email also needs to have two-factor authentication set up on it. Now what that is, is it's very similar to Authenticator on RuneScape, where you'll get like a text message code and if, um, if you try to log into that email from anywhere other than where you've already approved it. Big name emails like Gmail uh, have two-step authentication. I believe that um, Yahoo and Hotmail, things like that, it should be very easy to set up two-factor authentication. You can very simply just look up how to do it if you don't know how. It's incredibly important. Protecting your email is the number one most important thing you can do to make sure people don't get into your account. Tip number two kind of ties off of some of the things I was talking about with setting up your email. Make sure all of the information that you use for RuneScape in terms of your logging in information, password, PIN, everything like that is completely unique. It cannot relate to any other information that you have, whether that be other logins for other addresses, maybe other emails that you use, other usernames you might use, similar passwords. Make sure that they are completely 100% unique. If you need to, just write down a whole bunch of random letters, numbers, different caps, etc., and then use that as your password, but make sure it's written down somewhere, not up on your computer, because if you get a virus, some sort of keylogger, you're gonna be screwed. Write it down, an actual physical hard copy on paper, that way you have your password if you need it. As far as RuneScape fan sites and everything like that goes, by no means am I trying to discourage using them. I think they add a lot to the community and it really helps make RuneScape what it is as a great MMO. But make sure that when you do use these things, you don't use any of the information that you do for RuneScape. A lot of these fan sites are targets for phishing and hacking. If you use the same information, you're going to be screwed. Tip number three is going to be to actually have a bank pin. Now, I know a lot of these tips I'm giving you are super tedious things, like how are you supposed to remember a dozen different passwords, a dozen different emails, and then a pin on top of all of that, and you're going to want to take shortcuts, but trust me, it is not worth it. When you set up a pin on on your RuneScape account, number one, make sure it is the four digit pin, not the authenticator pin. If a hacker is able to disable authenticator on your account, then that also disables your bank pin. And then it's almost like there's no point in having one. Make sure it's the four digit bank pin. Also, please do not use your phone number or your birthday or a relative's birthday for your bank pin. That is information that a hacker can find out a lot easier than you would think, and it's scary how much information they can find out about you. Use random numbers. Again, write it down the same way you did your RuneScape password, your RuneScape email, your email password. Write them down on a hard copy in case you need them, but make sure that the information is just absolute random bullshit. That way it's that much harder to guess. You need to actually use your bank pin in terms of taking advantage of it. When you log out, make sure you have your stuff in the bank in case someone gets onto your account when you're not able to. If, if someone's being super sketchy and asking you to take your stuff out of the bank, leave a bunch of stuff in the bank. Leave everything in the bank. Don't take anything out of the bank that you wouldn't be willing to risk losing. And I'm not trying to say never take ever anything out of the bank, because obviously you need to take things out of the bank to play the game. But I mean, be, be sensible about it. You know, Don't take everything of value that you possibly have out of the bank because some guy, some random ass guy says he wants to see your bank. That's a terrible, terrible, awful idea. Tip number four is to protect your IP address. If someone gets a, gets a hold of your IP address, then they're able to DDoS you and knock, knock you out of your connection. And then basically once they do that, 
you're unable to log into your account, so they can swoop in in that time. If you have anything in your inventory or worn on you at that point, not protected by your bank pin, you're going to be screwed. Consider using a VPN. Especially, don't Skype with people that you hardly know. Skype it is just a massive, massive culprit of this. Only Skype with people that you are 150% sure that you can trust with your life. Because so many people get screwed over through Skype on RuneScape. And I know you want to talk to your friends, you want to hang out with them in that, that extra dimension instead of just being able to type to them in private chat. And I understand that. I understand that completely. But please be very selective about who you let into that circle of your life. Tip number five is going to be to use the RuneScape Authenticator. Now, I know this is farther down on the list, so it's not as important, I should say, in terms of how much it will protect you. But that's not to say it's not still important. Every single line of defense that you can have is important because that's one more than you would have had if you decided to ignore it. That being said, having two-factor authentication on your email is so much more important, being that if people get into your email, they can disable Authenticator, but not the other way around. Regardless, please set up Authenticator on your RuneScape account. It's very incredibly easy, super, super easy to use. It's just, it's, it's not even an inconvenience. You know, you have to put it in once every 30 days for every device that you use. It's... I don't understand why people wouldn't use it. It's one more line of defense, and it just, it, it's so simple. Why not? Now, tip number six relates pretty much exclusively to people who have an older account, talking pre-November 2012, I believe it was, when RuneScape started requiring email addresses for login. Clearly, if your account is older than that, you don't want to tell people the email address you used to log in. But if your account is from before those times, then... Maybe some people might know your username because maybe you haven't changed your name or your display name since then. Maybe some old friends still recognize you. Don't go spreading that information. You know, Don't openly talk about what your original name was if your account is older than however long I mentioned. And I know as a RuneScape player, it, it almost strikes you as part of your identity. You know, I am this person. This was my name when I first started playing this account you know, seven years ago, eight years ago, however long it's been. And I know that that's kind of a sentimental thing, but try to keep that to yourself because the more people that know that, that's just one more, that's, that's literally half of the information they need to log into your account. Tip number seven involves phishing attempts in terms of emails you might get posing as Jagex. Now, if this happens, keep in mind these emails are incredibly deceptive. They are very, very clever, and it is almost impossible to tell which is from Jagex and which isn't unless you are incredibly well knowledgeable on this topic. If you receive an email that you have any suspicion might not be from Jagex, I highly recommend you talk to a player moderator about it. Run around RuneScape until you find a player moderator. Talk in different friends chats, clan chats until you find somebody. PM them and ask. Just provide them with information about the email. Maybe provide a screenshot. Uh, type up a little bit of the email. Ask, is this from Jagex? Would they send something that says this? One key thing you might need to know is that Jagex will never ask you for your bank pin. Ever. Not even to say, hey, just to prove that you're the owner of this account, what's the bank pin? They, they will never, ever do that. If you ever receive an email asking you for your bank pin, you know that that is some phishing bullshit and to stay away from it. Again, talk to player moderators to confirm this. I personally have received phishing emails. Uh, I've received emails uh, together that I thought one was from Jagex and one was a phishing attempt. I was 100% incorrect. The email I thought was a phishing attempt was from Jagex and the email that looked legitimate was a phishing attempt. Talk to player moderators because they know what they're talking about involved in these things. You might even want to tweet at Jagex and ask if you can contact them directly to ask information about this. It's just, it's scary and it is, it's worrying how crafty and conniving and sly that these hackers and fishers can be. Take every precautionary step possible to prevent yourself from getting fucked over. And finally, I believe this is tip number eight. Try to be careful about who you talk to about your bank wealth. Maybe flaunting how much you've made isn't such a smart idea. If 
If a scammer, lure, or hacker, this applies to all three, see you as a potential target in terms of someone that has value to their account, they're going to keep that in mind. If you look like some peasant scrub lord who's wearing mithril, then they're probably going to ignore you. It's pretty safe to say. Try to keep a low profile. If there's anything that you think might be worth scamming, luring, or hacking, it might not be a good idea to talk about it, or at least only talk about it with people you know you can trust 150%. Again, same as the Skype rule. Be very careful about who you let into that circle because it is so, so easy to get fucked over just because you flaunted a little bit of wealth, feeling a little bit strong, a little cocky, a little too proud, and then they're like, we see you. We see you over there wearing your, your party hats and your druidic, whatever it is. And then as simple as that, you become their next target and you are the next person that they go after because they know you have something worth stealing. Please be very careful about who you let into that circle of your life. I can promise you that the richest accounts on RuneScape are number one, clearly those that are the safest protected, and number two, people that no one has any idea that they're even that rich. They fly completely under the radar. No one even thinks of them as being some high-profile, wealthy account. And because of that, they're completely overlooked. Hackers don't even consider them as a target because they don't even know about them. Please, if you think you have something worth scamming, luring, or hacking, it's probably a better idea to keep that a little bit to yourself. All right, guys, those are my tips for this video on how to make sure your account is secure, prevent yourself from getting hacked, and just be able to enjoy the progress you make in RuneScape and not be a constant fear that it's going to be in jeopardy. I can tell you personally, after being hacked, I am just so paranoid about everything. Every time I hear an email, I'm terrified it's another phishing attempt or another email from Jagex saying someone's trying to change my password. It is just, it is so mind racking. I don't even know how to describe it. And I don't want that to happen to you guys. Please, I know it is super tedious. Take advice from everything I've said in this video. Make sure that all of these security tips I've given you become part of your everyday RuneScape life because I do not want other people to feel this way. It is terrible. I don't want you to lose your progress, your countless thousands of hours in RuneScape spent grinding away to accomplish things. That should not be at Jeopardy because some other guy is some greedy fuck that wants to steal it. Please be safe, guys. Have an amazing day. Stay happy. And I cannot wait to see you in my next video.